Mal geht noch. Okay. Mal mal. Sorry about that. Morning everyone. Um, oh, anyone else need permission to record doesn't already have it? Matthew got it, so it should be able to go. Um, as usual, we'll just take a question each, we'll just get through as many as we can and we'll start with Ramon, please. Thanks, Nick. Hi, Scott. Hello. Scott, obviously, a bit of chat about the draw. How competitive do you think Rangers can be in that group? As always, very competitive. Uh, obviously, it was a, a great draw for us, a lot of big dogs in there, which, you know, when you get to this competition, there's going to be. So, an exciting draw for everybody and, of course, we want to be as competitive as possible. Derek, please. How good does this Rangers squad now, when you arrived at the club, to where it is now, um, has it improved a great deal, do you feel, uh, to reach the Champions League group stages? I absolutely. I think for the five years that I've been here, four and a half years now, you're thinking that this is going to be, this is a time where you think you need to keep progressing. We've done that consistently over Europe in terms of um, qualifying and then into the, the last, the group stages and then you go into the quarters and it's, last 32 and obviously last season we go as far as we could um, without winning the trophy. Uh, but this was the next stage for us, uh, albeit we had to do it a more difficult way and we've managed to do that now. So I think you see with the, the calibre of player that we've, that we've brought in consistently over the years, we're, we're in a, a far better place now. Matt Bingwell. Scott, you're talking about the, uh, the quality of players that have come in, the way that the squad's developed over the last couple of years. Do you feel that the players that you're now surrounded with, that that gives you the space and also the kind of tactical backup to play where and how you want to play? Definitely, I I think that anyway. But you know, if if you're not like that, then you need to you need to find something else to complement your teammates anyway. But. I think it's as most sort of natural that everybody's playing to their natural natural talents, obviously within a structure when you're hard to beat, but I think footballers are at the best when they're uh, when they're free and they can express themselves and certainly in this team at the minute we can we can do that in different ways. We've got we've got goals all over the pitch with um, the two attacking midfielders that we brought in, uh, particularly in, in Malik and, and Tom we've got we can we can score for long distances and you know, that only adds to our armory at times there. So Definitely, when you get that opportunity to play at any any time, then you feel as if you can you can uh, influence the game. Any more broadcast questions? Okay, Michael. Brown. Yeah, me is that okay? Yeah, go go for Lindsay. <laughs> okay, thanks, Scott. Um, how do you think uh, Antonio Cholak settled into the team, and what does he bring that, that's different from your the, the previous striking options? He's done brilliant. He's done brilliant. As always, goal, you're judged by your goals as a striker. Um, he's hit the ground running there. You know, he could, he could probably have more numbers um, with the chances that he's had. So I think he'll be overall, he'll be very impressed. And obviously, the two big goals that he scored for us in, in this tie in particular to take us through to the next level is sensational for us. Um, but I think overall, with his game, the way he presses off the ball for us, the way the things that maybe the fans don't see as, um, as often because we're on the pitch and we appreciate it. Um, when people can get up and up and down the pitch and, and press us for there, because it's what our structure's all about, and, and certainly Antonio's capable of doing that as well as getting the goals that we need. And did you tell him that he, he owed you these goals after knocking you out last year? Oh, he knows that. He knew that. He knew that first day he came in. <laughs> and last broadcast question, Anthony Brown, PA. Hi, Scott. Uh, just your general reflections on the three teams you've been drawn against, and is there any particular one you're looking forward to playing against? Well, the three of them are amazing, um, amazing cities, so we're definitely looking forward to going to them, but obviously the one that caps his attention is the, is the Liverpool one, because it's closer to home. Um, you know that the following there is going to be sensational, um, and that's the one that probably you're, you're looking forward to the most. They've been finalists for numerous years, one of the best teams in the world, and, and now we can show what we're all about now. Okay, guys, if you can stop recording there, and we'll do a couple of daily questions. Uh, Michael, Nick, I don't know if you 